Hello, welcome to Random Talks and Truths of Thoughts. I'm Darian. I'm Andrew. And then we have our guest. The Random Crackhead. What's your name? Rafa. Rafa, okay. What do you want to talk about today, Rafa? What's on your mind? Y'all ever wonder how stupid people are when it really goes to grocery stores? Explain. Like, y'all ever fucking see some fucking old-ass motherfucker walking around and be like, I wonder where the bread is, where there's a whole-ass fucking section of bread, and they will walk right past it, and they'll have to go be like, can you guys show me the bread on the, like, it's right there, sir, and they'll fucking pass it every time just to make you go with them. Look, you exposing me right now. <laughs> Bro, I've had that happen when I was working at Walmart. Um, I had one of the customers like, oh, can you, uh, we were in the bread section we were literally in the aisle and he's like where's the bread at and i was like turn around and he's like why i was like because it's right behind you and he's like no it's not i was like dude just turn around he turned around he's like oh okay and my bad I, I just didn't know i thought you were messing with me or whatever i was like bro it's just the bread it's not that deep speaking yeah. of walmart you know how last year they had the seven foot teddy bears yeah i went there this year to get a seven foot teddy bear they didn't have them. They're like seventy-five dollars, dude. I know. They're expensive. Go to Costco. Go where? Costco. Don't you have to have a membership there? You do, but you can pay for a day membership. I think it's like five dollars for the day. Do you have a Costco membership? That is a good question. I have no clue. I, I know they have them there, though. No, do you? Have do you have a Costco membership? Oh, no. I do not. I work at Walmart. I have a, I have a Sam's one. I pay. I don't pay shit for it. But don't they, when did they have that at Sam's Club? <laughs> Dude, I, have a, I let my parents take the card and they're like, y'all could go grocery shopping. Wait, how do you have a Sam's Club membership at like, Walmart, Walmart and Sam's Club or Yeah, but how do you go do go yes. about it? Do you just show them your discount card or Oh no no no. So I have an actual Sam's membership, but I pay it through Walmart, so I pay like can't legal, legally say for legal reasons, but I pay a, uh, a very small Girl, amount about to per, month, <laughs> per month. Per month. Looks at the camera. I pay a very small amount per month to have that membership. Uh, so let's do Walmart. That's pretty good. Yeah. So how do you like working with my dad? I've never. I haven't asked you this, but I wanted to hold this on till we got to the podcast. How is it working with my dad since you worked with him for a week now? It's been pretty good. Has it really? Yeah. He hasn't cussed at you at all or anything. Oh, he's, you haven't paved yet, huh? I've been doing everything that I've been with him all the time. No, but have you paved with him yet? No, huh? No, not yet. Are you ready to pay we barely them? finished subgrading. Are you re- are you ready to pay for pay for them? Yeah. See, I feel like everybody says that, but they don't know my dad. Like y'all don't know working with my dad. This guy, dad will he's a be- perfectionist, and he will yell at you, and he will scream every single cuss word. in your father was literally language. cussing and yelling at everyone, and looked at me and asked if I was okay. You okay? No, I want to kill. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted to just, and just fun to do this. Damn, bro. Oh, but so how come you've been out of touch? I don't know. Work and school and work and school and then the gym and then I got heartbroken and then work and school and then work and school. The way you guys introduced me or the way your brother called me at the gym or it was you. It was you. The man, the myth, the legend. Just walking up and then the forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's been a while. It's been a fat minute. You, you can't blame me. Well, you can, but that was funny. Dude, I miss our boys' nights. Wasn't we our, talking about that yesterday? Our boys' nights? No, uh, the yeah. man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, we were just talking about that two days ago. I was like, that's how I want to be introduced or... Every time I want to be introduced to the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Bro, but I miss like when we used to hang out and go to the movie theaters all the time. It was like the whole group it was like six, eight of us. Going to the movie theaters and then going to Denny's afterwards, or vice versa. Yeah. It was Dion's. Dion's. What did I say? Denny's. Denny's. Oh, I mean Dion's. Yeah, dude, that was like. You should do Denny's. Denny's. I don't know. I feel like the Denny's is more like a really late night type of thing. Fancy. Denny's is it's not. Expensive. Oh. Remember when Gage worked at uh, Denny's and he was all telling us all that shit, and then a couple of days later we asked the manager and. She's like, oh no, Gage got fired because he kept on talking too much shit. Oh, he, oh yeah. Oh, he said his name. Yeah. You suck at this. It's okay. We <coughs> but yeah. Gage. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I remember. Nah, dude, um, my sister's girlfriend actually used to work at Denny's, and apparently, like, she was the only server that would work the night shift. 
at all. Like, it would be the only one. And it sucks, too. Like, the fact that when you would go over there, like, they're the, the at night, it's only one server. And it's terrible because sometimes there's, like, eight. Dude, but the amount of work that they're having to do by themselves because sometimes Denny's gets blown up. That one time that we had, I think we're, it was a thing for Trisco. We had went to Denny's afterwards, right? It was my girlfriend's out of frame. We had went to Denny's after uh it was a late night thing. It was the Denny's right right at his house. And uh they were just we they had a like a group of guys and girls from dancing. We didn't do anything. We were just we just wanted Denny's. I wasn't there. Yes you were. For ROTC. No, I'm talking I thought it was for a thing that we had in school, but we already, you guys graduated, and, and we, we just Denny's? wanted we just wanted Denny's. There was only one server in the next to us. They just had prom. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it was that really cool guy. I went to Denny's after prom actually. <laughs> did you really? What did we do? Oh, we went to IHOP after prom. I saw Gunny. So we had a we had a prom at our college to make up for the miss the missing it in high school, and uh, it was us and then probably like eighteen of us. They got a table at IHOP. Dude, we took up like four, three yeah, we did take up four tables, bro. So our server, I felt bad for one of my homies. I don't know if he wants to be on this podcast, so I'm not gonna say his name. So he got everybody's order except for one of our friends, right? And then the whole time we're just waiting and we're waiting and we're waiting like hour, two hours later. Everybody's like barely getting their food, like it's coming up and everything. And then um, <clears throat> fi- uh, finally we're like, what the heck is going Like what's taking so long? It's been like two hours. And so we call him over and then we're like, um, what's going on? He's like, oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I didn't get your order down. He was the first one that was asked for his order. And then, so, um, they're like, oh, well, how long is it going to take? Well, we just turned off all our fryers. That's why we didn't have our chi- uh, the chicken tenders. But we knew that he was fucking lying because down the table, our friend was, all, um, he ordered chicken tenders and he got his, or he had like chicken and waffles, chicken tenders and waffles. And our friend ordered the exact same thing, but he got it and our friend Tony didn't get it. And, um, <clears throat> finally, like, uh, like 30 minutes later, he walks out with our, with his food and as soon as he got to the table, he reached over and spilt all the chicken all of, all, all over the table. And he's like, oh, my bad, bro, my bad. And then he proceeds to, with his own hands, no gloves, nothing, grabs his chicken tenders. And he's like, oh, they're still good. Oh, no, nah, I'm coming from the food industry. That's straight being petty. And you could get your job taken like that. Bro, it was terrible. He just spilt his food. And I'm like, bro, nah. thanks, bro, for wasting like three, four hours of our damn time. He, he still got like a big tip though because like the rest of the table they didn't have any problems except for our little corner of the table so he had probably like a 50 60 dollar tip i was like bro how are you gonna just like mess this guy's whole plate up but he waited three hours and he just threw it i was like bro it's messed up no i'm a manager whenever stuff like that happens and i know one of my associates mess up or someone messed up on they're like oh no y'all suck like Y'all, y'all gotta make up for it. And then there's other managers around the store. They legit let him get away with everything. And they're like, that's why we have one of the worst ratings. Bro, my old Walmart had the worst ratings. We were the lowest ranked uh, Walmart in the state. In the state. Bro, that's including every other city in, El- in New Mexico. And we were one of the lowest ranked. It was terrible. But how do you like right now at Walmart? It's good, then it's ass, then it's good, then it's ass, then it's ass for like the next couple weeks. How do you like the discount card? Oh, that shit's amazing. Well, yeah. it comes in Which clutch. Which Walmart do you work at? We ain't talking about that. And all I'm saying is it's shit. So are you going to promote this By episode? or my house? Where do you live? Uh, Lives on Central. Nearby my house. That <laughs> nearly <laughs> describes what Walmart. It, no, yeah, no. it kind of does. I work nearby the one nearby Darian's house. Yeah. By school? By the the one that's by... Oh, the green. By my gym. Yeah. There's... He's like, like, don't make it too (laughs) obvious, bro. (laughs) That's why I said the school. And then... Yeah, it's kind of of by the school. Did you go to Truman? No, I did not. 
Where did you go? Went to shittiest school in off Albuquerque. I went to Georgia. She was gay. Georgia Sanchez? Where was that at? Right next to the Trisco. Is it? Oh! A lot. Dude. I forgot about that. Didn't they just build that? Yeah, and it was absolute dog shit. Bro, your brother goes there too, huh? That's terrible. Flint Lockwood? Yeah. Flint Lockwood. Sorry, I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we can't say his name on here anyways. Yeah. What's his name? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I forgot his name. <clears throat> so what have you been up to lately? And honestly, I have no clue. Half the time, I'm just walking around wearing brain dead, and I'm like, ooh, Jim. And then all of a sudden, uh, I make food, and then it tastes amazing. And then wrench repeat. Wrench, rush, repeat. So what are you going to start doing now that you're working with my dad? What are you going to do with the three-day weekend that you're eventually going to get? Uh, Gym. Gym? Just the gym? And football. Just gym and football? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else? Maybe you. <laughs> Podcasts? Podcast is the least of your worries. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I work with your dad now. So instead of me going straight home, I could just come straight here and record an uh, episode with you right away. You say that and then you like. I literally asleep. came here you after fall work. asleep most of the time, bro. You're like, oh, I'm we got to record an episode. I'm to stay awake right now. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So is he, bro. He hasn't, he's been up since 3 in the morning. And me too. Yeah. Bro, I took an exam today and I... Oh, shit, that's your phone. Bro, I took an exam today. It was... I don't know why, but I finished so quickly. And that's not the first time you hear this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I don't know why, I don't know why, but for some reason, like, we got there and then she's like... Um, they passed out all the papers and everything. Like, as soon as you get your paper, go ahead and start. So, I started and I... I ran through all the questions. I was like, that's easy, that's easy, that's easy, that's easy. I just answered them. Gets F. It was over 40 questions. It was like the easiest test I've ever taken. I was like, what the heck? And um, I just sat there because I was like, I finished this, and it's only been five minutes. So I went over my questions again. I just sat there. I sat there for 10 minutes waiting for at least somebody else to stand up and turn in their paper before I did. So I at least felt like I was like, oh, I took my time, you know? I wasn't the only one. Dude, I sat there for 10 minutes. Nobody moved. Nobody made a sound. All you hear is paper flipping, paper flipping, and all that. Because it was like four pages. Oh, you're pages. at the beginning is Darian. <laughs> Bro, I was done. And then I got up. I was like, fuck. I got up, turned in my paper. Everybody looked at me like I was like, like shocked. Like I just probably ran through that. My teacher's like, are you sure you, you like went over the questions? I was like, yeah. I was like, I they, they like seemed five times. Easy. I went over it a couple times. It seemed pretty easy. I, I kind of sat there too. I didn't know what to do. So I just got up, turned in my papers, and everybody just looked at me like I was like shocked that I turned in my paper so quickly. And I was just like, yeah, right. So I got up, uh, left. Because as soon as we're done with our exam, we just leave. I was just, have you ever had that since you're still going to school? Oh, yeah. It happens all the time. And everyone stares at me like, oh, what's this kid doing? I'm there like, I'm done. I, I studied. I did something. And then every time I would ace the test, and every, every time someone would be there like, oh, well, how'd you get it so fast? I'm like, I don't know. It's just memorize stuff. Like, a lot for medical is just memorize, memorize, memorize. And then there's a the hands-on stuff. But that's, I feel like everyone gets to that really fast. Unless you're kind of stupid. There's this one kid called, actually, I'm not going to say his name. We'll no call, names. <laughs> we'll call him Oscar. This dude, everyone was scared of letting him draw your blood because of how often he missed the actual practice dummy's arm to the point where no one was willing to let him poke him or like let them get poked by him and the one time he did he had to poke a guy five times just to get the vessel and that dude was so scared to a point where he didn't want to let anyone else do it but besides that all the tests were just memory 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 and then there's a hands-on stuff he should practice on his own bro <laughs> How do you miss? That's scary. My sister was telling me that she went for somebody because uh, they were going through the same thing you were doing, and they were having to draw blood at the, um, one at that uh, off central, right next to the El Super or something like that, where they were drawing blood. Is that where you went? Uh, no, that's Pima. I went. To, I go to CNM, but yeah, they'll do that stuff there too. But there, I feel like it's a little bit different because it's more nursing based. Well, nurses still have to have to learn how to do it, but it's very different mindset i guess because for me i draw blood and i have to memorize all the tubes and all kinds of other different stuff because i want to work in a lab end game so i have to memorize all this stuff like you do specific things for specific reasons to test for specific diseases like you could test 
blood for chlamydia uh, for like all kinds of stds but you could also test it to like test your hemoglobins your your counts on the red blood cells white blood cells all kinds of other stuff glucose and then there's just all kinds of tests you can run i feel like that's very different because for nursing you're just drawing blood and you're just trying to figure out what type blood type they are or like how to treat them because like let's say you have someone with trauma or like they got into a car accident and they need blood you got to figure out what you're doing and five minutes of phlebotomist can figure that out but let's say there's no phlebotomist on hand what you gonna do you just gonna let him die no nah, you just gotta yeah. draw blood <laughs> Just let him, bro. Sometimes, you, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, my guy. I, there's nothing you do. But no, my sister apparently she went over there, and um, the person who was pract- that was going to be practicing on her had some uh, was practicing on somebody else before, and apparently missed the vein I think three times, and then finally got it. And then it was my sister's turn, and I think missed three times as well, one or, or three or two. I can't remember. Missed a couple of times, and it was bad. Like, it was bleeding, like, terribly. And I could not go for somebody practice. Like, if you needed me to go to practice, I could never. I hate needles in the beginning, like, to begin with. But having somebody practice for the first time on me, I could not deal with that. But, yeah. <clears throat> so, you said you're going to go back to school, right? Are you still deciding you're going to go back to school or no? Hey, I got a question. No? Alrighty. What was that? Do you plan on still going back to school or no? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Where at? C and M or U and M? Are you gonna go? Yeah. 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 How's how, well? <laughs> because you said that you were gonna be starting your school again, right? Have you started that process yet? I've been studying, just to get done with that. Just uh, the test, so you don't have to go to school. Yeah. So when are you gonna take your test? Do you have you picked a date or no? Uh, no, I haven't picked a date. No. So you're just waiting until you feel like you have a greater understanding? Yeah. So this summer? Most likely. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to suck off the professor? To win sucky, sucky. You're funny. Sucky, you're sucky. hilarious. That's that's you sucky, right there. Sucky, sucky. Sucky, sucky. Sucky, sucky. Is that how you start your Say test? Someone that tried to grab my if someone would be sucky, sucky me for them to pass their grade. <laughs> sucky. Is that, if you were becoming a teacher, would you do that? Oh, hell no. No? No, nah, but I pass people's tests and they pay me for it, or I'll do their homework oh, and I'll get paid for it. Bro, I thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> it's all no, but I've helped people pass their tests. <laughs> oh no no no! See, I get hungry at school, and sometimes I don't want to buy my own snacks. But I get me snacks and I'll, I'll do the assignment for you. And then that's how I end up with all kinds of snacks in my backpack, and I never pay for it. And I'm always hungry, and I'm always eating in there. They're like, "How do you have stuff?" I'm like, "I don't know. Go ask the kid that paid for all of this." No, I'll bring go get so him, much bro. food to work. I'll finish it before lunch. <laughs> Are you eating on the job? Yeah. I'll be you're literally eating right in front of your dad. So you're not working? No. I'm fucking with you, bro. I do the same thing, bro. <laughs> Why are you getting nervous, bro? I'm tired. My dad is your boss. He, yeah, I know. He doesn't him. even care. You know what he told me today? No. Uh. Fuck. What was it? I don't know uh, what he told you. What uh? What f- what letter has a double phrase? What what letter has a double phrase? Yeah, two phrases. What? W. What do you mean? Double U. Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, that take off for you. Get it? It's your W. <laughs> okay. What do you guys do on your days off? I'm curious. Dude, I haven't been working, so all I've been doing is going to school, uh, going to the gym, spending as much time as I can there, hang out with my girlfriend, and then come home and do nothing. Watch TV, play video games. Because I have a membership for the... I have the new Xbox, and I, I have the membership for the Game Pass, right? And a couple ti- or a couple months, I haven't been playing it, so I've been playing it as much as I can to get my money's worth, you know? Because you can't play or in order to play online you have to have either the game pass or the gold card and uh, the game pass at least comes with a bunch of games that you can play with so i was like i'm gonna take this and i'll play all kinds of games but you know it's a good game high on life do you have an xbox or playstation I'm the one that got you into that game. yeah i actually have both the like the the new playstation or I got the PS5. you have the ps5 yeah how much was that Oh, when I arrived, paid for it, it was like five hundred some, and then I got a couple of games, and I got a couple other stuff, so I got a discount. So instead of paying like eight hundred some, I only paid like six hundred and thirty. Where'd you get it? 
PSN directly. <laughs> How do we? Oh, like, really? A year, a little bit over a year. I had the money for it, and I just waited and waited, and I got it. No way. Well, one of my uh, when I got it, I got it during um, cause when I was working at Walmart, and we weren't supposed to use our discount cards because it was right after Thanksgiving, and it was the twenty five percent off. So they opened the doors, and I, I I knew that they had the Xboxes in there because my manager's like, "Don't tell anybody that you know this, right?" He's like, "Don't tell anybody this." And he took me to the back and he showed me that we got the new Xboxes and we got the new Playstations. But I just cared about the Xboxes. I like playing Halo and Halo's on Xbox. Plus, they basically have all the same games. So as soon as uh, I woke up at like 3 in the morning, grabbed one of my homies, Mason, he's going to be on the podcast. And um, we ran, or we made it to the store and we waited outside of the store. We were in the front of the line. And we were there in the front of the line for two hours. And then finally they opened the doors and we ran to the back of the um, back of the store and they're like no running no running so we stopped and then some guy started running past us so we just ran past and I used my 25% discount okay go ahead and then um, so I ended up using my 25% discount got my Xbox that was supposed to be around $500 I ended up getting it for $350 saving $200 and then uh, yeah so I got my Xbox fucking hacked the system bro you should have waited until you got work, worked at Walmart because I know the PlayStation's uh, certain stores that they're in stock still. And the same thing with Xbox is you should have used your discount card. Discount card comes in clutch. Well, the reason why I got mine and I got it in the bundle, I actually got it cheaper than I would have actually gotten it with a store with a discount card because I got like three exclusive games. The, the exclusive controllers, the new DualShock ones, and like really fancy ones of the normal ones i spent a shit ton on it and i actually saved like 300 bucks on it or a little bit more than that and then on top of that i got the year's worth of game pa- uh so for psn and it was psn now and ps plus so at that point they were separate and they were 60 bucks each a year they actually went down to 30 bucks each a year so i got both of them so i got a shit ton of discounts on the stuff so i was there like fuck it this is better in the story because i could have just waited like another two months to use my discount the 25 percent and i could have reserved it online too but i just didn't want to i was like nah this better. i want this shit right now what do you do on your days off well i hang out with you or <laughs> i hang out with you i hang out with you and and no i'm just <laughs> no um yeah we'll hang out or there's times where i'm just like nah i'm gonna just stay home and i'll just well i'll either do nothing or um i'll work on homework because honestly the weekends is the only time i can do homework because i work and i go to school so i mean (laughs) damn all righty well this podcast is slowly coming to an end so the way we end things is oh you listen to the podcast right bro he's the one bringing up our views guys you guys are like whoever else isn't here bro y'all are lacking start start binge watching the episodes but um yeah this is rafa you want to plug uh so we end it with a joke and then we end it with the motivational quote or a message you want to leave to the people so do you want to go first or do you want to go last or second to last I'll do motivation you well we all do we all do one joke and then all all of us leave a message do you want to go first or do you want to go second to last i'll go second to last second to last okay do you want to go first or are you gonna go first <laughs> okay so do you have a joke yeah you have a joke what's your joke <laughs> Why do cows have hooves and not feet? Why? Why? Because <laughs> they lactose. Oh, that's terrible, bro. Are you lactose intolerant? Yeah. Bro, me too. I still eat that cheese. <laughs> me too. Yep. Bro, can't live life without cheese. All right. Message. What message do you want to leave with the people? Besides cloudy. Uh, Baby G10. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, check it out. But, um... <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Uh, come back. <laughs> you have to go first because he's gonna go second to last. Uh, message with the people. Oh shit. Okay. Um, message to the people. Um, I had a dream that you can do whatever the fuck you want, whenever the fuck you want. You be yourself. I'm gonna be like you and be like. <laughs> but um, yeah. Just yellow, bro. Yellow. Yellow. What do you guys say? Why did the baker shut down his bakery? Why? He didn't make enough dough. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, what's the message you want to leave with people? Okay, so if you're stupid or a little bit retarded, all you need is a little bit of motivation and discipline. All you need is discipline to get places in life because you're not going to have the motivation for it half the time. So just get your ass up and get shit done. And eventually you're going to have good stuff. 
guys, it's cutting season. Okay, so this this is gonna take a lot of discipline. I don't know if you're gonna be starting your cut, but I'm definitely gonna be starting my cut because I want I have goals that I'm gonna be achieving that I'm going to be achieving. So because of a cut takes a lot of discipline, and I love eating food. It's gonna take a lot out of me. But all I gotta say is. If you want to achieve something, you have to have discipline to do it, okay? You got to follow your dreams. You got to stick to the plan. You have to set a plan and you have to continue with it. You can't stop until you reach that point. And once you reach that point, you keep going a little further because once you succeed, you succeed on your own and you did it because you were disciplined and you believed in yourself and it took everything out of you to achieve your goals. So you did it yourself. Thank you. And uh, on three, one, two, three, peace.